Chicago, it's the Tweety Show, starring the Tweeties, Sammy, Spencer, Jeff, and Susie. Musical guest, the Tweeties, brought to you by the Tweeties. Now, here's the tweetings. Hi Basil. Hi Casey. Hi. Hi Spency. Hello. Oh, hi Jeff. Hi. How's everyone? How's everyone doing? What's that? I don't know. <laughs> Do, is the volume still up that we can hear? Mm-hmm. Okay. How's everybody doing? Um... Are you asking me? No, I'm asking everybody. How are you doing? You How's just... everybody doing, everybody? I fell asleep and I'm very, very discombobulated right now. I don't. I. I don't know. How are you, Jeff? Anxious. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. It's all gonna be okay. All right. Yeah. Yep. I think it's going to be a bumpy road, but I think we'll be okay in the end. It'll be a little bumpy, but it's going to be okay. Everyone's saying they feel great, much better, fucking awesome, <laughs> celebrating. People are happy. <coughs> I need to, uh, I'll have what they're having. <laughs> <laughs> a little gassy, but good. <laughs> yes, we have seasonal depression in Chicago. Uh, yeah, chronically vitamin, vitamin D deficient, and... Hey, Jeff's headache is better. Thank you for asking. It is. <clears throat> it was a long one. It was a bad, long one. Danny said it's going to be okay, but Bill Barr can go fuck himself. Yeah, I kind of think that that whole thing is them doing whatever they can to placate the, the toddler-in-chief. You know, as, as as much as I hate Bill Barr, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's it's another just <laughs> catering to the whims of a fucking autocratic child. But, but it is a little bit more watered down than some of the headlines when you read the actual letter from the DOJ. What is this? Bill Barr <laughs> sent out a recommendation that the DOJ investigate the um, voter fraud. Mm. <laughs> they, disgusting. And, but said uh, nothing frivolous and all, uh, I don't know, so kind of worded said, it a little bit more watered down than that and also pointed out that the, the DOJ does not have a role in overturning states' elections. Mm -hmm. But it is, un, it is unprecedented because they traditionally do not do any type of investigation until an, a vote has been certified. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Jim Elkington's brother. Hi. Hey. In the UK. Ben? Is it Ben? I'm not sure. It went by too fast. Someone said they have Proud Boys with guns in their neighborhood. Ew. Hmm. Jesus. That's not also, good. Also, hi, F and Charlesies. Hi, Danny. Hi, Kendall. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Dad. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing, Peter? Mejor que nunca, gracias. <laughs> okay. All right. Yep, Pedro is in the box again. So. Landscaping. <laughs> Jeff play Elizabeth Cotton. I 
can't do it as well as Sammy can do it. Sammy does. Sammy really does the cotton roll. So do I. I know, but you won't <laughs> play for anybody. No. Nope. You hand me that. Somebody was in. Let me put this on here. <laughs> I might have to read this. What is it? It's lyrics to a song. Who printed that? I did. Why does it look ridiculous? <laughs> because I did it. <laughs> I just <laughs> screenshotted my phone. And oh my printed... god, Jeff. Yeah. For God's sake. That was a stupid way to do it. Um left handed upside down. Yep. Yeah. No, I don't play. She does play. Shut up. She can play classical gas. Your butt has classical gas. That's for sure. <laughs> Not as much as it used to. My hair is really out of control. Your hair actually looks good tonight. Oh, actually? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I would say. Right? All right. I'm like going to try and play this song for the guy that was in the Washington Post wearing a Tweety show mask. No, this one was uh, on uh, CNN in Philly. Oh, this guy was? Yeah. Wait, what? The guy wearing a mask made a request? I thought he did. Yeah. I'll get his name. All right, I'm going to do it like this. I don't know what the hell is going on. Don't move too much while I'm trying to concentrate. What? (laughs) All right. What the fuck? As she's sleeping. What are the lyrics? I wrong? couldn't catch up with it. I she saw it. It was wrong. As They're she wrong. lay sleeping. But it still came out of your mouth. Yeah, I'm gonna start over because Basil, uh, this okay. you're not singing on this one. <laughs> Listening 
the sky was cloudy Listening to their windy blows Has it come your time to leave me? Has it come your time to go? Always did I be Listening to the wind that blows, uh, Woody Guthrie uh, wrote the words. I wrote the music. It's beautiful. So what it says on WoodyGuthrie.org, even it says words Ooh. by Jeff, words by Woody Guthrie, music by Jeff Tweedy. That's nice. Awesome. And it was requested by Britt, who was featured on the front page of something or other. He was yeah. the one on CNN. Yeah. And apparently, Britt has been asking for the song since March. <laughs> really. All he had to do was get on the front page of CNN. Yeah, let that be a lesson to all of you clients. <laughs> we respond to uh, mass media requests. There was some Michigas going on during the song about <laughs> some misunderstanding about basil. <laughs> Someone commented, hate basil. What? I think they were kidding. I think they were kidding or they would be even third. Why would you hate basil? But Basil wants to say that he understands people don't like chihuahuas because they're a misunderstood breed. To be perfectly frank, I didn't think that I liked chihuahuas until I met Basil. Now I love chihuahuas. Most people don't think they do, but they are generally very squishy and cuddly and sweet. Basil! Hi! Also, Uncle Danny said that you, uh, Uncle Danny was raving about your guitar playing. Yeah. Uh -oh. Shredding. I was fucking up left and right. Danny doesn't know anything about guitar playing. <laughs> What's in the banker's box? It's empty. Ooh. Interesting. Not that interesting. So Casey has had an interesting <laughs> weekend. <laughs> Just 24 hours or so. I think some people saw it. I made a TikTok. Of me calling the, it's like their campaign hotline, right? Yeah, yeah it's the, the voter Trump fraud war hotline. room. Yeah, it's the Trump war room hotline where he's supposed to, Rudy Giuliani tweeted the phone number to say like report fraud here, and so, <laughs> on Friday night or Thursday night, I gave it a little ring. <laughs> <laughs> and i record myself doing it to send to you guys and my family group chat and i ended up editing it into a tiktok even though no one goes on my tiktok <laughs> besides friends and um last night i figured out because someone commented that they came to my video from nbc and nbc and then Every following major news outlet, there's five pages of news outlets that have my uh, TikTok handle on it, have my uh, TikTok on it, where I say people are spreading poop on ballots. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. And thankfully, so far, only one uh, mean MAGA head has showed up. Yeah, Breitbart covered it, but I think they have bigger fish to fry than harass me. <laughs> At this point, Ugh. well, well, the night is young. I mean, shouldn't they be concerned about people spreading poop on ballots? <laughs> right, <laughs> but they just hung up on you, right? Yeah, yeah, he just hung up. 
It, it's pretty funny. They must be getting my, nonstop yeah, prank calls. One, my this morning, one of like the high up people at my job DM'd me on Slack and was like, "Is this you? You're this is like on the front page of um, what was it? Mm-hmm. Uh, some tech, some tech paper." And I was like, "That is me." He he loved it. He said the potty humor was perfect. <laughs> but yeah. it was I was like I need to go into hiding. <laughs> I was, Sammy and I did some too. We made some calls, and Sammy's gamer friends made some calls. I'm pretty uncomfortable with prank calling, and I but I think that that was um, the right thing for us to do. Well, <laughs> it's a it's an obvious grift. They're, yeah, you know, I'm I'm with you, Spencer. I'm they're subverting our but democracy. They it. They're lying and lying and lying. Yeah, mm-hmm. and fabricating something that isn't happening, and so I think we can throw some mud in the wheels. Um, yeah. I don't There's like much. any pranks. I'm not a prank yeah, person. Yeah, yeah, exactly. me too. Because I feel like they're mean, but mm-hmm. but this deserves it. But it was just it's a poop the joke. It's the mildest yeah. form of disobedience. Right. It's it's free speech. Mm-hmm. It, it, you know, we should can handle that, right? Mm-hmm. Not that anyone was criticizing, but I just I was defending this to myself. Yeah. Because I feel guilty of even dialing a fake call i get you spencer <laughs> you're a rule follower in a in the best way mm-hmm. not a not a sycophant but a you know conscientious objector to the prank <laughs> yeah oh god. i um no i just feel bad no oh god no i was saying i why well, i think we all did the right thing okay including no you. casey don't feel bad yeah okay I did spread poop on my ballot, so <laughs> you weren't telling a lie. Voting for Trump is spreading poop. Yes. I didn't vote for Trump. Who's Barry Jenkins' remix of Yankee Hotel Foxtrot? He is that? the director of Moonlight. Moonlight? The movie the Moonlight. The movie Moonlight? Yeah. And I guess he has a, uh, like a remix crew of some sort that makes stuff, and he did a whole... I mean, I think it's all the songs on Yankee Hotel Foxtrot called Yankee Purple Foxtrot. And I haven't I haven't really listened to it yet, but um, it's, I mean, what the fuck? That's pretty cool. That's very cool. I, um, I love when things like that happen. Yeah. As we all know, because of the uh, Just a Fan. Is it called Just a Fan again? Uh, the, um... The, the, the... The band camp compilation? yeah it is which i've listened to more of and has made me cry more and it's so so touching and beautiful and i can't believe that there's 70 songs that people found it in their hearts to recreate or in turn lots of cases reinvent in ways that i would have never dreamt of which is always exciting and i just saw a glimpse of me talking without my beard and that on Spencer's phone, and now I I don't want to do the show anymore. <laughs> You're an idiot. You look gorgeous. Oh my God, you've never said that. Okay. I look like. I look like, if they found, a body in a submerged shipwreck. Okay. <laughs> so is Barry Jenkins going to contact you so you can get the O in your egot? I would hope so, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you get an Oscar just when, whenever you collaborate with someone that has an Oscar. <laughs> um, Peyton Oswald. I agree, Ariana um, Boren, Patton. author. Patton, Green Peyton. Author. Everyone is saying, everyone that I care to acknowledge is saying that you look way better without a beard. Patton Oswald. Um, had a really, really good joke today about David Lee Roth being the one that gets to name the uh, Eli Pharmaceuticals new monoclonal antibody treatment from therapeutic for COVID. And Spencer did, do you want to play it? Sure. What? He's, he said, congrats to David Lee Roth for getting to name so it, 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 when you hear the name of it, it's a, it sounds like David Lee Roth. The name of this um, drug company's COVID treatment is Bablam, <laughs> ba, 
Bam Bam Len Bam Lenivimab. And Pat Lenivimab. <laughs> and Pat and Oswald say congrats to David Lee Roth for winning the <laughs> Eli Lilly Neymar COVID nineteen drug contest. And uh, this was my rendition. Oops. Shit. <laughs> wow, good job. Thank you. Why would they name it that? If they don't use that in their commercials. <laughs> they email them. Yeah. Well, they're probably clients because every time we talk about something, next thing you know, we're getting a you know, bag of junior mints. That, that literally only happened once with pharma. junior mints. And you almost choked on it. I almost Which died, a... and yet it did not stop me from finishing more, eating more Junior Mints after I almost died. Big Tootsie Roll, Big Candy, Big Pharma. Is there a difference? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, there is. His dad was my mom's internist in Indy. David Lee Roth's dad. Is that huh. what we're saying? His dad's an internist. Hmm. I think that's true. Cute. And he was an EMT. David Lee Roth. Or he a- was? A- after Van Halen. In the early 2000s. You're joking. No. For fun. That's and amazing. Care. It, I would love fun. so it's much. It's a lot of work to become an EMT. He cared about it. Yeah. I would, that would be so awesome to like impale yourself on like a, like a park fence or something accidentally and David Lee Roth shows up. You did impale yourself on something, and David Lee Roth did not show up. No, I got thrown in the back of a pickup truck and so, dri- driven to the hospital. Someone said we should talk about weed. Why? So someone will send us weed. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what else do we? Think? She's just kidding, Peter. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> we like. Uh, are you ever gonna play that song that? Uh, Arrow's asking for the campaigner. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, but I mean, he waited a pretty long time for the other one, and this is fairly new. <laughs> Ay, I flip in. Are you going back in time? This is another Elizabeth Cotton song. It's like a really weird accent. Mm-hmm. Hi, Casa de Calexico. Like North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Hey. Does Jeff like fudge? Do you like fudge, Jeff? <laughs> I do like fudge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Any requests? going on you don't know what's going on no i'm really out of it jeff's in a picking mood today um what the fudge Our husband Scott saying no. See, I can't remember anything one second after. What happened? Did something bad happen? Maybe. Uh, Maybe I don't know. I don't. He doesn't like fudge. Maybe he doesn't like fudge. Um. What if I just did this for the rest of the show? That's a great idea. 
Arrow's being very mature. <laughs> Arrow's just saying the name of the song now. With without without any emojis. And he said, "I got nothing but time." All right, oh, that's. Nice. I think that's that goes for all of us. My schedule is, as they say, wide open. Your butt is wide open. <laughs> We're going to talk about like this again. It, unsit- it uncinched itself. It is about fudge. Our husband Scott doesn't like fudge. What the crunk? What's not to like about That's fudge? That's almost as hard for me to understand as someone uh, not liking watermelon or voting for Trump. <laughs> Please don't put those two things together. What's not to like about fudge or watermelon? I, I mean, I don't like, like, chocolate lava cake i don't like mealy watermelon mm. i don't like watermelon don't when word. it's kind of got that weird texture but I think crisp is watermelon is like maybe the best word. food yeah it is i thought you were what, trying mealy? to tell me that you're yes. allergic to it jeff i am i can't have it i i get a migraine instantly every time i have more than a few bites and and i've read about it it's something that happens it's a trigger food for a lot of people Hi Debbie. So is an o- hi Debbie. So is an overripe banana, I believe. Well, overripe bananas are gross for eating, but they're delicious. For I know, banana and bread. you used to make like nice smoothies with overripe bananas, and I ate a big one one time, and I had one of the worst migraines of my life. Yeah. I think it's a, you know it's related to some allergies. It's related to some barometric pressure stuff. It's related <laughs> to stress. A lot. Definitely related to depression and anxiety, which are things that are in my repertoire. So I kind of got a perfect storm going if I uh, have any of those foods. Is anybody... Are you playing, like, the world's smallest violin? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's... I think it is actually worthy of a little bit of sympathy. I already forgot what you said, so I can't. <laughs> More than that. Someone says that they also get migraines from overripe bananas. Yeah. Was it my sister? Uh, no. Nope. My sister has migraines, too. Aunt Debbie said it's a watermelon's her favorite food. What? That's what she said. My sister, my sister takes um, a medicine for migraines that works to get rid of them that I can't take because... I just don't tolerate it for some reason. Aww. Our husband Scott just remembered he said the best watermelon he ever had was outside of our old apartment. Really? From a vendor. Oh. Wow. Aww. <clears throat> Scott has been with me for one, I think one of, Scott was there for one of my worst migraines of my life on tour opening for R.E.M. in a bullfighting arena in Italy. gross. In Italy, I believe. Was it in Italy? No, it couldn't have been in Italy. What was it? It was a stadium. It was some type of stadium. (gasps) It might not have been a bullfighting arena. It wouldn't have been in Italy. But it was in Italy, and I was completely, like, incapacitated, like, throwing up. And I had a bucket on stage, and it was boiling hot and dusty, do you remember that, Scott? I'm going to wait for him to respond. <laughs> he said Bologna. Bologna. Did he feel bad for me? I don't have to wait for him to respond to know that he w- felt bad for you. <laughs> because he's the nicest guy in the let's world. Let's make sure. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, let's make sure. Scott, did you feel bad for Jeff? <laughs> we can't... We can't continue the show until we found out, find out if Scott felt bad for Jeff. I'm waiting. Waiting. What if his comes waiting. up and we don't see it? Waiting. 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 Now he's just milking it. That was fucking horrible. That doesn't say whether you felt bad for him no, or not. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm getting a different guitar. Okay. Okay. Lady. Oh. Who are you calling a lady? Do we need Sammy? Oh, God. I was going to do... Um... Oh. oh, my God. 
sucked. Ugh. Jeff is looking sexy tonight. to write a song that will be on a TikTok thing. Yes. What do you, how do you do, yes. how do you do that? Maybe we should just make a TikTok together. Jeff, we need to start a TikTok account. That's what I've been saying. Well, <laughs> I need to uh, come up with something that has just is like well, first, infinitely catchy for just 14 seconds. Yeah, totally. So. But we need to learn some TikTok dances. Nope. We're just the right age for it. You've seen me Zumba. I have seen you Zumbas. I'll never get over it. No. <laughs> Speaking of, our husband Scott is on the exercise bike. Good for him. That's so great. I've been meaning to ask him if he's been exercising. Can you turn the fo- phone away when I scratch my nostril? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Basil. <clears throat> you know, the show is literally almost over. We've talked a lot. How many songs did we do? Two? You know what? Mm. Even if you do half of one song, it's okay. I don't know. I've done a part of a couple of Elizabeth Cotton songs. Oh, you know what? We should mm. auction off uh, people being able to watch you Zumba. <laughs> Casey and I can do a song if you want. What's he doing? 
Been thinking about that song. song. Do you no. want to use this or do you want to use a. Um, I'll get one of the other ones. What song do you do? Uh, whichever one you feel more like singing. Those two we talked about. Either one? I will hold. I will hold this little nugget. Una said she'll pay $1 million to watch you Zumba. Okay, it's a deal. You got it. Oh, God, Jeff. It's okay. Who's a bad boy? I would need to be reminded of how the parking lot goes. Okay, so do you prefer to do that now? Sure. Okay.
still haunt me I see you floating there My love has never faded I dream of your wet hair Diane, Diane I tried to stick with a plan Diane, Diane I'm saying that I'm still your man Beautiful guys. Thank you. I love that song. song. Thank you. It is called Bitterroot Lake and it's by Queso, which is me and Spencer's band. Gorgeous. Thank you. Dad, without Bruce telling you what's going on, I just want you to know that that was Casey and Spencer singing. I knew it was Casey and I thought it was Spencer. Okay. <laughs> All right. Talk to you later. <laughs> hi, Zade. Hi. It's Casey. Sex. Casey said hi. Bien, bien. All right. Uh, <laughs> that was beautiful, guys. Thank you. Oh, hi, Sammy. Oh. <laughs> do, it, do, do everything, turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn. the time to every purpose under heaven a time to be born a time to die a time to plant a time to reap a time to kill a time to heal a time to laugh a time to weep to everything to season turn, 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 and a time to every purpose under heaven. A time to build up, a time to break down, a time to dance, a time to mourn, a time to cast away stones, a time to gather stones. <laughs> I think we yeah. together. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, well, I don't know Two. where. There's a solo. We, well, I'm sorry. No, no. What, the, what were you going to say? And it was poignant because of Biden. Yeah, it's really lovely. 
We that was Spencer singing, Dad. I I want us to work it out where we have the three parts. Very good. The, that I, yeah, I feel like I fucked you. No, fucked you up. didn't at all. Spencer, you I fucked sound... myself. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Fairly and squarely. Spencer, you sounded gorgeous. Thanks. Uh, I would like to say that when Biden spoke those words in his uh, speech the other night, I said to Casey, he just quoted the birds. I didn't know that was from the Bible. <laughs> we both did it. I te- had to text my mom and ask. It's Ecclesiastes. We mm. sang it in Sunday school. In Sunday school? Yes. Jewish Sunday school. Yeah. He, he I thought maybe you did it at the at the your, our neighbor's Sunday school. No. You would go with- I did it. Ruth sang it, and she said, this is from the Bible, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, Spencer, you sounded so good. It's Ecclesiastes. Yeah, I just say that or Yes, you did. Basil agreed. I think that probably lots of people just thought it was a bird song. You know? I want a president who quotes the birds. Yeah, you're gonna have one. Just Sammy. Why don't you? I am the Cosmos by Chris Bell. Why don't you do your greeting with Zaid that you did earlier? (laughs) How does it go? uh, Zaid, what? what, Zaid, what was the greeting you gave you gave me earlier? Oh, before, uh, was machst du? Ah, Gosse Duncan. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Or Baruch Hashem. Good either way. Go to Duncan. Go to Duncan. Um, it means thank God, which is a response to how are you in yeah. Yiddish. 
Sammy, that was beautiful. Okay. I'm not having a pretty. I'm not having a very accurate guitar night now since Danny complimented me. <laughs> Who cares? No one expects you to be totally accurate. I'm Big a whoop. professional. I have a Grammy. Sammy needs to learn Two. a Yiddish song, says Uncle Danny. Uh, I agree. I know. You know one. <laughs> I know Down with the Police. How is that Yiddish? It's a Yiddish song from the 1800s. You know it in Yiddish? Wow. You're doing a great job, too. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Do you want to sing a song, Peter? you want to sing Tit Willow? <laughs> well, uh... How about a little Calypso melody from written by our good friend... The Mighty Panther. Okay. From, from Trinidad. All right. Okay, uh, a little calypso. In Trinidad, there lived a family. With much confusion, you soon will agree. There was a mama and a papa and a son who was grown. He wanted to marry, have wife of his own. He met this young maiden. So beautiful, so nice. He go to the papa to get some advice. The papa says, son, I got to say no. The girl is your sister, but your mama, she don't know. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, woe is me. Such shame and scandal in the family. This handsome young man, he had a broken heart. He go to the mama cause he knows she's so smart. <laughs> he told the mama what the papa say. She replied, she say, go man, go. Your daddy ain't your daddy and your daddy you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yeah. That was Written great, Dad. Our, good written job. by our good friend, Woo-hoo! the Mighty Pat. Good job. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> good job. Basil is. Basil's like, like the fuck, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was blissed enough to the fuck to Zade's Calypso. <sighs> it's 9.55, just so you know. Oh, Sammy. Yes? Does that guitar still have a capo on it? Oh. Yeah. You should. Do you remember how to do uh, freight train? Mm, I can see. Do we, but, but why? Because somebody asked earlier. We were talking without, about Elizabeth Cotton. Without the capo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let me, like... You want to practice it and do it tomorrow? You, no, you guys just keep talking for a second. I'll okay, well, it is 9.56, just so you know. Or zoom in on days. Zoom in on days. Days time. Base cam. Basil. We watched Star Wars A New Hope the other day, and Basil was transfixed it by R two D 2s noises. He really? Love Star <laughs> Wars. Ooh, Paul just did another rating of all of us, and I missed it. What? I'll have to go back and watch it. Jeff, we all know that Georgia is in the news heavy duty today. And we'll be up until the next uh, uh, election again for the two senators. Yeah. And it reminded me of our good friend, the Mighty Panther, when he was in Georgia. Uh, and uh, uh, his real name was Vernon Roberts, but uh, he all, we only knew him as the Mighty Panther at all times. And he went into a uh, restaurant and sat down. This is not a, a song. This is a story that he told that I think is very funny. He sat down. And this was in Atlanta, Georgia, years ago, not currently. And uh, the waitress came over to him and she said, I'm sorry, sir, we don't serve black. And he said, that's all right, madam, I don't eat them either. <laughs> he, had a very, he had a very thick British accent. That's awesome. That's all right, madam, I don't eat them either. Oh, my God. Wow. Good one. Wow. I love it. I can... Play years ago. Yeah. Oh, Sammy's gonna play a song.
That was beautiful, honey. Yeah, beautiful. I'll learn it. I'll learn it for yeah. next time. Oh, it's it's got to be in your repertoire. You've got the you've got the thing down that sounds more like her than I can. that song when she was 11 are you serious is, is what the mythology surrounding she it is said she wrote it watching kids going uh coming back from like a like thanksgiving break at uh she lived across from the university in chapel hill there's a train station and it was like uh the trains would come in and everybody, all the kids would get off and they were going back to school and then the train would pull away and on the other side of the train tracks was a graveyard. And that's what she would walk, looked, was right outside her window apparently. That's what she said in the story I read. Or wow. I heard her say that. It's 9.59. The lyrics are... 9.59. Along those lines. Yeah. yeah. It's 9.59. 9. Okay. Great job, Sammy. was bird and I was fish, what would we do? I guess we'd wish for re incarnation, re incarnation. Oh, Wouldn't be a sensation to come back to like a reincarnation. Say bye, Casey. Say bye, Basil. Say bye, Spencer. Say bye, bye Sammy. Bye. Thank you. Say bye, Jeffy. Thanks for letting us uh, share our, our living room with you. Appreciate appreciate it. <laughs> Say bye, Zade. Hasta la próxima. Adios. All right. Wait, Jeff, I'm still on. Stop. <laughs> Where are you going? What? <laughs> <laughs>